G'day guys, how are we going? Well, in this video, we're gonna have a bit of a chat about what's probably the most suitable tread pattern that you should be thinking about for tires for driving on the beach. And also, we're gonna have a chat about some tire pressures, and I'll let you know the tire pressures that I'm gonna run for driving the beaches of Fraser Island. So, let's get into it. Okay, so we'll start off with this talking about what's probably the most suitable tread pattern for driving on the beaches and sands. Well, if you're gonna start with a tire, you'd probably wanna look at maybe a, an all-terrain tire or an aggressive all-terrain tire. But I've got the full mud tire on here. Now, this is probably out of those three options, probably the least um, sort of tire you would be sele selecting if you were gonna do a lot of beach and sand driving. Because of the big open tread blocks of these tires, if these start spinning, they're gonna dig into that sand very, very quickly as opposed to your aggressive all-terrain or even your all-terrain. Now, all, all of those three tires have got good solid sidewalls, so they're gonna handle the very low pressures that we do run when we go driving on the beaches and, and deserts and things. Look, I'm pushing about a three-ton vehicle here, so on the front tires here, I'm push, I've got these down to 16 PSI for driving around on the beaches. Now, in the high country, I run 18 PSI in the front, and then in the back tires, well, I've got those down to 18 PSI for the beaches, and in the high country, I'd run those at 20 PSI every day of the week. I'm not gonna go changing tires for every sort of different terrain that I'm gonna drive on, so I've just prefer the full mud tire because it's the average sort of terrain that I'm gonna drive over. So this one suits me, perfect for the sort of full drive that I like to go and do. So there's some sort of things you need to consider about. But look, if you're gonna go drive in the sand and you're a bit unsure, um, I'd be starting at least at probably 20 PSI as a starting point, provided you've got one of those three options of tyres that I mentioned, being an all-terrain, aggressive all-terrain, or a full mud tyre like what I've got on here. This is not even including highway tyres, because as I've mentioned before, just my view on it, highway tyres and full driving should never be used in the same sentence. They just don't have those strength in their sidewalls to handle the low tyre pressures that we do run, particularly when we're beach driving. So, and the reason why we get our tyre pressures down a lot lower when we're driving the beach, as opposed to, you know, driving the high country, as I've mentioned, you know, I'm a couple of PSI lower than what I would be out in the high country, because you want that longer footprint, and therefore it's gonna allow your tyres to sit up on top of the sand a lot more easily than it would be if you had your tyre pressures at too high pressure, and you're gonna dig into that soft sand and potentially get yourself bogged. So, there you go, guys. I hope that little tip's helped you out. Check out which tire tread pattern's gonna more suit you for the sort of style of, of full drive I like to go and do. But for me, I like the full mud tire. Gets me wherever I wanna go, and tire pressures, they are key. So there you go, guys. Think about that little tip, and fair chance, see you out in the bush someday, or maybe even up here on Fraser Island. Good on you guys, catch you later on.